The Northwoods Response Community and Clergy Coalition hosted a forum with Community Board 7 on the New York Health Act Forum, a single prayer health plan that will provide universal care for all New Yorkers. The forum held at St. James Church was about bringing information to the public on the bill, which passed in the New York State Assembly and for the first time is scheduled to go before the Senate. Arlene Mokoko has the story. Asthma, diabetes, hypertension, they are off the charts. And a single-payer health plan, the only one nationwide providing universal care, could change that. According to the Northwest Bronx Community and Clergy Coalition, they joined Community Board 7 for a forum at St. James Church on the New York Health Act. The first thing it does is it covers every New Yorker. Every New Yorker, whether they are documented or not, as long as they are a resident of, resident of New York State. With no co-pays, no deductibles, or out-of-network charges, the bill covers a host of areas including dental, vision, reproductive care, opioid addiction, and more. It has passed the assembly four years in a row and for the first time goes before the State Health Committee, chaired by State Senator Gustavo Rivera, at the start of the next session in January. This health care system is broken. Uh, it's a train wreck. Also speaking here was Leonard Rothberg, who shared that if legislation like this was passed around the country, it would place the U.S. on par with other first world countries that already provide this. Yet long term care is incredibly expensive. On average, it costs $120,000 a year to receive long term care. And if that's something that we need from the time that we are, say, 75 or 80 for years on end, that could mean that we work our entire lives, save our entire lives, and then find that when we need that support to stay in our homes and in our communities, it doesn't exist. Long-term care has been another concern for aging residents. The New York Health Act looks to address this while also building a workforce focused on job development. For more information on the New York Health Act, go to northwestbronx.org. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko. Thank you, Arlene. Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. celebrates Caribbean American Heritage Month with the community by honoring New York City public advocate Jermaine Williams, New York State Homes and Community Renewal Deputy Commissioner Woody Pascal, and many more. Our Bronx Night cameras were there to capture it. Let's take a look. It was a day set aside to celebrate the Caribbean. It's wonderful, tranquility, fresh air, peace. And those who traveled here, like Phyllis Donaldson, who moved from Jamaica to the Bronx 42 years ago, here with her daughter, both manage a community garden off 241st Street that is teaching a new generation the value of gardening. In another couple of weeks, Mr. Garden is going to have the children's summer program for six weeks. We give them the news from back home, the sports, the weather, the details. We're the only conduit for them. Also making a difference, honoree Bobby Clark, founder and chief executive officer of Erie Jam Media Group. His parents traveled in from Kingston, Jamaica, and he also came to the Bronx in 93, where he launched his company before moving its headquarters to Queens. We're broadcasting into the Caribbean, into Europe, into Canada. Um, so we're doing a lot of work for the Caribbean community globally from, from here. So you know, we're, we're very proud to be honored by the Bronx Board President because this is where we started. You've been around for so many years. Joined by honorees Woody Pascal, Deputy Commissioner, New York State Homes and Community Renewal, and the Honorable New York City Public Advocate, Jumani Williams, Clark talked further about the importance of events like this. You know what, as an immigrant, and you know that's a bad word now, um, it's important that we um, service our needs. And sometimes it comes from creating a community that helps the community. And so my job is to help that community that in any which way, for, for, for jobs, for community services, for, for sports, for religion, whatever it is, that's why, why we're here. Elder care and child care are his priorities, as well as more representation. We're working hard in, in the, the, the white collar um, world and we're not getting recognized for it. And I think we need to get more recognition for, for what we do. As a backup, he knows where to get news around the borough. I love Bronx Net. That's what I want to say. So keep it locked right here no matter what. Bronx City, baby. That's what I think now. This is both a celebration of Caribbean heritage and a celebration of Bronx pride. For Bronx Net, this is Arlene Makoko. 
That's all for Bronx Updates.